I want to share with you a story about karma, okay? About last week, right before I left for my trip, and suddenly I heard a knock on the door, and this, this man was saying, you know, over the door, I, I didn't open the door at that time, I didn't know who he was, and he said, hey, I noticed your papaya trees, or yeah, your papaya plants out there, they're, they're really nice, they're so short, but there's so many papayas, he said. Uh, what variety is this? So I just told him that it's one of the, the regular kind you get at the store. It's, you know, red, the flesh is red. It's really sweet, it's really delicious, the ones you get from Mexico. And it just somehow, you know, came up in the garden, part of the compost pile. There were a few rotten papayas on the plant and he said he wanted them to get the seeds. And so I said, sure. You know, I came out and I I walked in the garden with him and he just started picking the rotten papayas off and I said, they're, you know, they're probably not fully ripened yet. You're, you may not get the best plants out of these. Papayas is better for them to be, you know, picked from a papaya that's really good. He, he still insists that he would get it because his parents saw the plants and said they really want to grow them. They, they have a lot of papaya trees or papaya plants in Israel, but they're really tall and he loves our dwarf ones. Anyway, so he got the papayas and I saw him drove off. He said thank you, which I I love sharing seeds or you know any things I grow with people who are in the same interest. And then guess what happened? Then an hour later we came back in the garden and found the, the largest, healthiest papaya on the tree was gone. I mean, you can see from there, it looks like someone completely just ripped it off the plant. It's, it's the best and largest papaya we have. It was like about this size, this big. It was easily like 15 pounds or so. I mean, who steals like the only fruit or the best fruit you know this person has in the garden like who does that of course I was so furious and I couldn't let go of this you know I was like I'm gonna find this man and just hunt him down because I know who he is I know who he worked for in this neighborhood anyway so we went on this trip on Hawaii in Hawaii and met with some you know vendors at the farmer's market. I told her about the stories of, you know, how my papaya has been stolen. And they asked me if I filed a report on it because you know why? In Hawaii, when you steal someone's fruit, it is illegal. It is illegal to pick fruits off of someone's garden without their permission. You can go to jail for that. But of course, it's not that big of a deal in California. We met a really nice man at the farmer's market and he offered us to go to his house and pick one of my favorite fruits in the whole world, the soursop. Then my auntie pointed out to me that, you know, the only papaya we had on the tree, the best papaya we had was stolen. Someone offered us another fruit from their garden, the best fruit they have on our tree, on their tree. What do I say? I think that's karma, don't you think? And at that moment, I, I think I felt a sense of relief. I wasn't as angry about my fruit being stolen. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys like this little story. I'm going to be posting some really exciting videos, uh, episodes on our trip. There's so much that we saw. It was so beautiful. And I can't wait to show them to you. So stay tuned for that. And uh, well, that's all for now. I hope you have a really wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye.